Let's see how to solve their quartic equation. Since their coefficients of x are the same, let's do an average substitution. So let t equals the average of these two, which is x plus 2. Then the first one becomes t plus 1, second t minus 1, right? So the given equation becomes t plus 1 to the power 4 plus t minus 1 to the power 4 equals 82. We write the first term as t plus 1 square and then square. The second term, t minus 1 square and then square. Then we want to create a perfect square, a square plus b square minus 2ab, so minus 2a, which is t plus 1 square b, t minus 1 square plus that. We need to add this term to make balance, so 2t plus 1 square t minus 1 square minus 82 equals 0. Now the first returns combine to a perfect square. A minus B square. A is T plus 1 square B, T minus 1 square, and then square. For the next term, we use the exponential rule. A square B square equals A times B square. Okay, so we get plus 2. We know t plus 1 times t minus 1, t squared minus 1. So t squared minus 1, and then squared minus 82 equals 0. Now we expand this part. So we get t squared plus 2t plus 1, t squared minus 2t plus 1, squared. For the second term, expand it, so we get 2 t squared squared t to the power 4 minus 2ab, so we 2 t squared plus 1 squared, so just 1, and then minus 82 equals 0. Now, per line term, t squared minus t squared, 1 minus 1, 2 t minus negative 2 t, which is 40. 40 squared equals 16 t squared. For this one, expand it. So we get 2 t to the power 4 minus 4 t squared plus 2 minus 82 equals 0. Now, correct lighter. So 2 t to the power 4 and then 16 t squared minus 4t squared, so we get plus 12t squared. And 2 minus 82 minus 80 equals 0. Divide 2 to both sides, so we get t to the power 4 plus 6t squared, and then minus 40 equals 0. We can view t squared as single variable. So we get t squared and then squared plus 6 t squared minus 40 equals 0. So there's a quadratic equation. We find two numbers. The product equals negative 40. The sum equals 6. They are 10 and negative 4. So we can factor the left side as t squared plus 10 times t squared minus 4 equals 0. So we get either t squared plus 10 equals 0 or t squared minus 4 equals 0. So for the first one, t squared equals negative 10. There's no real solution because the square of any real number should be non-negative. So no real solution for the second one. So t squared equals 4. So we get 
t equals 2 or t equals neg 2. But we know t equals x plus 2, right? So x plus 2 equals 2. So we get x equals 0. Similarly, x plus 2 equals negative 2. So x equals negative 4. So we get two real solutions for the given equation. One is 0, one is negative 4. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.